Turkish armed forces appear to have been the target of two attacks in as many days. Security sources say seven people have died and a number were injured after an explosion rocked a military convoy this morning near the predominantly Kurdish town of Diyarbakir in the southeast. Meanwhile, nine people have been arrested following yesterday's deadly car bomb attack in the capital. Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu says Salih Najjar, a Syrian Kurdish YPG militia member, was responsible for the Ankara explosion. 27 of the 28 fatalities were soldiers. Dozens more were injured in the blast, which occurred when a vehicle full of explosives was detonated as military buses passed by, according to the governor's office. Davutoglu claims the Ankara bombing proves the YPG is a terrorist group. Last week, Turkey lashed out at the US for refusing to acknowledge the faction's political wing, the PYD, as an extremist organization. 